faculty and staff, parents and family, classmates and friends, class of 2022. Welcome to graduation. I'm so excited to be with you all as we take this one last tour of Concordia. We've walked these paths more times than we could count over the last four years. We ran them when we were about to be late to class and took them slowly while waiting for a friend to catch up. Maybe you always took shortcuts to get to places quicker, or maybe you're like me and took the long way because you knew you would run into more friends along that route. But no matter what way we moved through campus, these paths and buildings have meant something to us all. They are a part of this place that became our home. Having spent more than half my time here as a tour guide, I've gotten the chance to walk these paths with potential students who are just like we once were, a little lost and confused, but excited for the next adventure. Sharing our home with them reminds me of many of the reasons I chose Concordia and of just how blessed we are to have spent our time here. So, since we all know this campus pretty well at this point and don't need a tour of it anymore, let's instead take a tour through the years that we've spent here. We all entered Concordia with different stories. Some of us may have known that we were going to come here for years, whereas others may have decided almost at the last minute on a whim. Maybe you have been here for three or five years, or you came when you transferred in. Whatever path brought you here, we have for this short while been able to walk together. For many of us, that began when we came here four years ago and started with the theme Anchored. Maybe the theme didn't stand out to you at the time, but how fitting was it to have this arrival in a new place and to set down our anchors? It probably took some time, but each of us found our place. We started to have some security and certainty here in this new home, even all the while having our worldviews challenged and pushed in our classes and experiences. We made friends and settled into our dorms. We had the chance to join communities and gather in chapel where we learned about the one who makes us secure and certain. As Hebrews 6.19 says, through Jesus, we have a hope that is a secure and certain anchor of the soul. Slowly, Concordia became our home and we were anchored in. Then sophomore year came and we settled into our routines and thought we knew everything that was happening. We started taking classes for our majors, got to go on adventures with the cars we could finally have on campus, knew what the events coming up were, and traveled. Then bam, COVID, uncertainty. We had to say goodbye to our friends and return home. In a way, it was the darkness that our theme verse for that year, Ephesians 5, 8, and 9 spoke about. And in that darkness, it made our theme something to cling to even more closely. It says, for at one time you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Despite the hardships, God illumined us and showed his light on our winding paths. Our junior year did not see a return to normalcy. And while we may not have been the COVID class, our college years were still deeply affected by it. More of us joined the ranks of the commuters and some of us never came to campus at all. Concerts and plays were live streamed, games and matches were fanless and classes were well online. Yet we learned to find joy in the little things and above all, looked to God as we grew to be resilient and adaptable. We certainly learned a lot in our experiences, even if our classroom learning suffered. I've had moments where I have felt that a part of our college experience was somewhat stolen. But the truth is, I wouldn't trade that year for the world. It was in those moments that the theme verse words of Matthew 6.33 rang most true, as we needed to, above all, continually consider God's kingdom and his righteousness. And finally this year, we have come to our final year and our final theme at Concordia, something new. It seemed applicable in August when we stepped back onto a campus with so many updates and when we finally went back into classrooms and attended games, concerts, and events again. There were some new things happening, or at the very least, some of our old things were happening again, and it was exciting. If this year's theme verse was able to resonate with us at the beginning of the year, it has only become even more applicable to us now. Something new. We are certainly going to be stepping out to experience new things now. Grad schools, jobs, different states, and so much more. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19, the verses from which our theme is drawn, say, Look, I am about to do something new. 
It is springing up even now. Don't you recognize it? Class of 2022, don't you recognize it? Something new. And even if you don't, the verse continues to say, I will even make a way in the wilderness, rivers and the desert. So for those of us who may not know what we are going to do next, God is providing our way through uncertainty. And he already has been creating a way, which he did by bringing each of us to Concordia to start our journey. Now I skipped the first part of our verse this year, which says, do not remember the former things and do not dwell on times past. But I wanna circle back to this part of the verse and encourage each of us to remember. My hope is that we never forget our memories here. From our first day at SOAR weekend to graduation today, we remember everything in between, like midnight madness, shout on Thursday nights, never winning suitcase bingo, sports games, matches, meets, concerts, plays, and semesters abroad. Then there are all the late nights for intramurals, forgotten and procrastinated assignments, game and movie nights, and those deep conversations that creep into the morning hours. Whatever the memory, Concordia has equipped us with the knowledge and experience to step into our next vocation. We don't ever want to forget what we have learned in our time here. Rather, we step out as wise, honorable, and cultivated citizens, remembering all the ways that we were pushed to think in our core classes, the things we have learned for our careers from our majors, and the experiences that have made us who we are today. And so now, we've come to the end of our tour. Do you have any final questions? I know that I do, and probably always will, because in our time here, we have learned to keep asking questions, to constantly be learning, and to always be engaging in the great conversation. I also know that when we have questions, that we have incredible professors, just an email or a call away, with wisdom to continue bestowing. We have staff that has been there to give advice and walk alongside us, families that have in one way or another made it possible for us to be here today and supported us in so many ways. And we have each other, our classmates and friends who have been there with us through the years of joy and laughter, difficulties and trials, lessons, adventures, and so much more. Class of 2022, now as we enter into this something new, know that God's promises in each theme verse will follow you. God will keep you anchored when life's storms assail you. He will illumine your path when it's fraught with uncertainty. And above all, he loves you and will continue to care for you through each new adventure. And so now we go, knowing that God has been here with us on our tour of Concordia and that he promises to be with us always as we go out into the world and to the very end of the age. Thank you and congratulations class of 2022.